Hello and welcome back to Retro Time and Recast. Yes, it is a Carl, but it's not the Carl that was meant to be here tonight. We got a sick note. Everything's okay. It's not the baby. It's him. Don't be worrying. I'm back with you again. And of course, we have our uh, a reigning defending champion, Greg Flanagan, the G-man there. How are we, Greg? What's happening? What are you on now, win streak boys? This will bring me to double digits. Oh my god! I mean, if, my maths, if my maths are correct, well, I'm sure our stats man will tell us. Like uh, Ted, what's the crack, right. man? Oh, not much. Much. Uh, this one could be tough now. Um, you and Greg think along the same lines a lot of the time, so it's it, it, this will be a tough one. Like to, great minds and all that. Exactly. Well, not that uh, incorrect minds, but hey, don't, now, you're not curry in favour with me at all, are you, Ted? I don't need, no, I, listen, Greg's already sent you a brown envelope with his list, with the list that he's picked. Like he pre-sends them to you, and then you just make sure you match them up. Like uh, Emma <laughs> Watson, Emma Watson returning from her three-year acting hiatus to play a, a bit part in a small-time horror. In the biggest, in the biggest creature feature of the year, absolutely. Not, a, so. not a bit part. Maybe the fucking main one. Not a bit part. She's not being at all. <laughs> this one, this one, I'm. Uh, I think, I think the rain's gonna fall short to ten here. I said it once or twice and survived. In other mm. ones, uh, mainly well, Matrix that I had no interest in, didn't watch it. The I only thing they, here is a few uh, draws here. Yeah, the only thing here is that, like I said, I was scrambling to get to do the show tonight, so you know I had mm. to kind of really quickly because I have again watched this film. I love this film, but I haven't watched it in years. So I hadn't seen it in years. Yeah, there, you, there could Same. be a few surprises here. Let's let's just find yeah. out. But what we're talking about is the I, I think it's a great film, Point Break from 1991. Yeah. And I also but, didn't realize it was that old. I know. Yeah. Well, Wonder I was saying before we, we yeah. came, before we came on, didn't realize there was a remake of it either. Is there? Yeah. 2015. There was a remake of it. Ray yeah. Winston is in it. Ray Winston's like the big name in it. Yeah. I know. Oh, I yeah. like Ray Winston. So Ray Winston must have played who? The captain? <laughs> no, he plays uh, Busey's Pappas. character. Pappas. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, that's what I meant, actually, because he was the oldest one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, even though McGinley is the captain and he's only 30, so like there was, there was casting errors in this. Mm. Yeah, but McGinley looks older. Like that, I said that to Carl. I said he's thirty-two when he played this role, but he like you I wouldn't actually, have thought he was thirty-two. I actually had to go and look at that and make sure. I had to go and look up his date of birth and be like, <laughs> he can't only be thirty-two. Yeah, but, yeah. Oh, it's mad, isn't it? Some like, people just. I think, look... Yeah, I think that's the one issue with this. Really, like he's far too young to be in the position he's in. Well, you say that as well about Guy Pearce and LA Confidential. I know he's not a captain, but he's on his way. Yeah, he, he gets himself a promotion by ratting other people out. Yeah, it's probably Yeah, well, McGinley's, McGinley's character, character seems like this, he would do that. McGinley's character in this, though, it's never referred to that he's done anything to get there. You see Guy Pierce being a snaky little rat bastard. Mm. Yeah, it, it's not ref it's not referred to, but they all seem to think he's a complete dick. So you probably get you probably guess that he's, you know, he is he's, absolutely he's dick. He's a he's, crack he's, fucker in it. Yeah, you know, trod on a few toes to get where he is, sort of thing. Well, right, fellas, let's get cracking. So, do you want to put your uh, your yeah. picks into the ch group chat there, so I know if there's anything going on or a foot. Uh, Sherlock, you should have put your suggestions in. Yeah, don't be worrying dick. about it. Yeah. Uh, man three, has man flu. One. There's <laughs> minor in. Yeah, there's one. Okay, okay. There's two. Okay, I'm, we're I'm in. worried I might have a few matches here with Greg. At least well, one, I think. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> well, do you know what? After the late change of judge, I had to actually change. I know I hadn't fully done my list, um, but I had to change one character on mine, knowing the, ju the change of judge. That's called playing the game. I, I didn't end up changing any of them. I just, I, I think the it. one, I think the ones I had were so solid that I was like, I'm just going to stick with them. I'm not going to find somebody better. So. And I respect you, know you for that, Ted. I respect I you for struggled. That. I struggled to the change of person. I wish I hadn't changed. Oh, but I could come back to bite you, but we'll have to it see. Probably, it probably will, but we'll see what happens. And right. I'll show it to you when we get to that person. <laughs> right, so let's see if history can be made on, on Retro Time and Recast. History's uh, being made every week when I'm winning, baby. No, 
This is double digits, man. Come on. Um, <laughs> right, well, let's go with what I would consider two uh, of the least ones of the seven. Let's go with uh, Gramit, who was played by, how do you say his name? Bo Jesse Bo Jess. Christopher? Yeah. Bo Jess Christopher? Now, I'm going to ask you the question here, right? Of unknown age. Mm, That's yeah. what I was going to say. Could any of you find his age? No. no. And it's not as if this was the only movie he was in either. He's in other movies, but no one yeah. can find his age. No. That's weird. Yeah, the, the one thing I'll say here is he's bigger than Roach, but you had to be careful on how you cast this because he's Brody's little brother. Yeah. Yeah, he Roach is the bigger character, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, he's but, probably... Yeah. Taller than well, Roach. No, well, I would have said Gromit's a bigger character. Nah, like you see him towards the end. He, he obviously, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, but it's 1991, so go fuck yourself. Uh, yeah. He kills Pappas. No, Roach, in, Roach kills Pappas. No. Yeah. Roach oh, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. Um, in the bank when he goes mental. Sorry. Um, and stuff. Yeah, he do- he dies in the bank. Ro- that's why I said yeah. Roach is a bigger character because he kills Papas and you get yeah. his yeah. own yeah. lines. More, he's bigger in, in terms of the storyline. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Um, it's me first anyway. Right. Go for. This is such a strange one because you couldn't find an age and there's nothing to define it. He just knows he has to be younger than than Brody. Yeah. Um, and I went with Liam Hemsworth here. They're not too big. Yeah, of a, a he name. fits. He fits that surfer role. Um, and the look, I I maintain this around a look of people as well. Right, right. I okay. went, I went something similar, but I went for somebody who doesn't have a name in film acting. Uh, so this could be their break into because the role is so minimal that I was like, I, sp- I spent ages and I was like, would the likes of uh, like Liam Hem- Liam Hemsworth or like any other actor I could think of, I was like, would they take it? Because like, it's such a small role. Um, it's like him and Roach are basically the same person. They're both just long hair, long blonde hair, uh, henchmen, realistically. Pretty much. Um, so I went with someone who might be trying to break into that, who has had a huge role uh, very recently. Uh, I went with Joseph Quinn from Stranger Things, who was Eddie. Okay. Grow his hair out long, let him be the, the younger brother. Um, and it gets him an acting credit in a big film with what would be a relatively big cast um, and that could you know lead to more things for him so I was like he'd probably take something like that because it's not you know it's not a big it's not a big uh, acting role but it'll get him a foot in the door uh, yeah. rather than you know at the moment the only thing I think he's really been in is Stranger Things do you know what I mean Mm. Well, he's, in, yeah. he's in pre-production on a couple other things now he's actually got into movies um, which yeah. is good to see and I thought he absolutely stole yeah he smashed four. it absolutely. yeah he smashed it he did um, um, Greg have you any results for that <laughs> like, I know it's an actor and you can change the look of somebody but I just at the minute knowing him as Eddie he doesn't look like an adrenaline junkie do you know what I mean could it you could picture be. that lad out so, well, he could be but from what we've seen of him in Stranger Things, he's not. You see, that's the beauty of getting someone who's not necessarily unknown. But absolutely. Is, absolutely. I'm just saying, I, I went off a look. Like, I, yeah, I like yeah. uh, Joseph yeah. Quinn. I think um, uh, in Stranger in Stranger Things, he kind of is at the start. Like, and when then, not, yeah. yeah, no, everyone's like, oh, he's the fucking, he's into the drugs. He's this big rocker dude. And, you know, and he, he stands up, up to all the, all the bullies in the school and stuff. And then when shit really hits the fan, he's like, you know, bollocks, which is basically what kind of Gromit does. He kind of panics when they're in the bank, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, again, as you know, and I apologise uh, to anyone watching that might have wanted to hear my picks. I was scrambling, so I didn't get to do any picks that I wouldn't have been happy with. I wouldn't have been happy with them, you know, at such short notice. So um, we're just going to roll off what we have here. Um, of those two, I definitely, I think Hemsworth's too big of a name for that small part. And so Quinn would get that one for me. I think actually, and I could see him doing yeah. it more so than Liam Hemsworth, you know. But there we go. Force blood to to Ted. Yeah, I, I assume I, we're going to go with with the Roach here, which is another yeah, I think another so. small role. Um, again, I, I just went with someone 
who, again, not a huge name in the film world. Mm -hmm. um, I can kind of see them as the blonde, like the long blonde hair sort of thing, but a bit more of an acting, you know, a bit more well-known. Uh, so has maybe dipped their toes into the, like, the film world already. I went with Stranger Things again. I went with Dakray Montgomery. Um, again, it, it's very hard to do these two roles because they're so minimal um, yeah. at the time, and eat, like they don't re like not that they don't impact the film, but they they could be interchangeable, really. This is true. It's fair. Yeah, that's a fair, fair one. Yeah, that crazy that a good show. I just don't see him for that role. I would have had him somewhere else. Um, I went with, as it says, I was sticking with a look of people. I went with Alex Ludwig here, who was in uh, Hunger Games and stuff. Um, yeah, is he like, not huge, though? In terms of what? Mass, is he not like a huge guy? I think he's quite uh, he's pretty, big. He's stocky, but he's not huge. I mean, and let's be fair, if you're surfing every day, you're not going to be a... A skinny little whip it either. Be athletic. Yeah. You'd be yeah. but I think you have more the athletic frame than the He's not I, I don't I don't remember him being huge in anything. Like he's a big guy, but he's not major. Yeah, possibly yeah. not. Maybe I'm mixing him up. I always have him in my head as quite a broad shouldered big guy. Mm. No, well like <clears throat> he looks like he's a big lad now, as in tall. That's that's yeah, that's what he, I was he's about. stocky, but he, he's shredded, but he's not huge. Yeah, um, possibly. I don't know. I'm just thinking of him from anything I've seen him in. I always think of him as a bit stockier, but mm. again, I haven't seen him in it. Like he's in Vikings, he's quite stocky and that and stuff. You know what I mean? So much Vikings. In terms of those two, I think Dakery's a little bit short, isn't he? No, mm, yeah, you know. I don't think he's small, is he? No, just again looking at the two, I'd probably go with Greg on that one. You know, yeah. Um, no, I, more went, I more went with a look of characters. Yeah, yeah I, like, think I, mean, he, I think he. Fits what would you refer to well, it as though, here? Um, Where's that picture? Calif <laughs> California surfing. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the first picture that comes up of him, and he. I know you can't see it. Sorry, but he looks like a fucking surfer, like you know. So, yeah. More I, so, I was thinking uh, of Dak Ray when he was in, like when he's in Stranger Things. He has the kind of long, not super long, but kind like shoulder length, yeah. uh, long blonde hair. Um, you know, he's the pool garden, all that. Don't get me wrong; it's it's not a bad show. It's actually not. It's not a bad yeah. show at all. But I just, as I said, both of these are very interchangeable. So it was yeah. kind of. I was like, oh, once I got one, I was like, well, I've already used my pick. So <laughs> who am I going to put the other one into? Yeah, could have e could have very easily gone Joel Keery and Dak Ray here as those two either. Yeah, yeah, possibly. I think. Joel is or just you could a, use them somewhere else I think he's going to explode sometime soon I, I think he will but I don't think he would have fit either of those roles I don't think he fits into that but know, them roles as we, said, as we said yeah. offset could have been absolutely anything yeah. anything yeah okay lads so it's one apiece that goes to Ted no Greg uh, sorry going, Greg going, my against, going against uh, going against the, the troll here <laughs> yeah so it's one, one apiece um who will we go with next? Let me see where we go with. Probably have to be Harp, would it? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to just go up the list the way I have them. So, yeah, we're going with uh, Ben Harp, who was played originally by John C. McGinley. Fantastic actor. What a man. Um, like We said this off screen, this cast and age-wise, I know he looks older. Doesn't make any sense for the position he's in. Yeah, I think it's just that he looks older. I think yeah. that's what he gets away with here. Oh, uh, I, I shaped mine up a little bit. <laughs> uh, I didn't shave mine up I aged mine up even <laughs> shaved uh, them up I went with Michael Shannon here he looks like an absolute dickhead he, he acts does. like an absolute dickhead yeah and you can just <laughs> see him being a police captain and an absolute wanker of a boss at that yeah and a little bit of temper in there as well uh, yeah he's a very good actor as well like he's like for me I know he's very, starting to get the recognition now, but he's been very good for a long time. Been underrated for a very long time. I will, I will give him that. Um, yeah, I was kind of the same as you. I was like, uh, I'm not picking someone too young looking. Um, like John C. McGinley, love him as an actor. I've loved most things that I've seen him in. Um, but 
he's not a young looking boy. Do you know what I mean? No. He's he's and never it, been a young looking fella. Do you know could I mean? actually you could put him sorry to cut in you there, Ted, you could put him in now. And he'd be and fine. He'd be fine. Yeah, exactly. He looks he looks the part in Brooklyn nine nine. I think that's the most he actually looks he looks a better shape now than he did then. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, and I think that's the thing. I think he was he he like hasn't aged since then. Do you know what I mean? He's mm. <laughs> kind of got old young and then stayed that age. Aged gracefully. <laughs> Yeah, do you know what I mean? Whereas you look at the likes of Keanu Reeves, who still looks very young now, even though, yeah. you know, he's... He could, he could still play older. Utah. <laughs> exactly, yeah, he's a beast. Um, I aged mine up a little bit based on that, but I didn't go as high as Greg did because I felt it would make it too hard to do uh, Papas because Papas even gives him the whole thing of, you know, I was still... I was making arrests when you were... Um, you know. I think that's just talking to him, though. That's not a reference to his age. I don't think it is, because we hear that Papas has been on the force for 22 years. Mm. Papas is a fucking loser, that's all. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? So I think, I think also, there is... Which also means he came in at about, theoretically, if you go by his age when he was when he made it, he was about 25. Yeah, well, 25 when he became, like, a detective or whatever. or into the like, And they're in the FBI, do you know what I mean? So you can believe yeah. that it would have taken them that long to get in. So... For me, when he's talking to him and he's saying, you know, you're still like you were a teenager and stuff, I was like, right, I need to keep that sort of in line here. Um, I had two backups here. One was Chris Evans, um, but I, as much yeah, as Chris, as much as Chris Evans can be a dickhead, he doesn't have a punchable face. <laughs> I think depends who you ask. <laughs> no, but do you know what I mean? I don't think he Tony Stark will say otherwise. <laughs> yeah, but that no, he wants to punch him because he doesn't like him. But he, <laughs> like, Chris Evans doesn't have a punchable face the way John you know, McGinley did, you know? Um no. then I it, it helped it helped big time that McGinley's jaw seems to stick out an awful lot. Yeah. yeah. So I had Tom Felton as a backup as well, who does have a punchable face, but a little bit too young. Like he's the right age for what age John McGinley was playing it, but I Still looks a little bit too young. Can't play that. <laughs> yeah. So I went with uh, Matt Smith, who is a favourite on this show. He's been used quite a lot. Um, Doctor Who. Matt Smith. Doctor yeah. Who, yeah. Yeah. The I I don't know what number he was, but that yeah he was that. Um, he's in a few he's, things. He's in House of Dragon at the moment. He was in. Um, he was in the Crown. Yeah, last night in Soho, he was in that and things like that. He's a really big actor now. Um, way bigger than McGinley was at the time, but mm. um, I kind of used a slightly smaller name elsewhere than the name that was there, so kind of interchanged it there. And I think he's, if you look at him, he's got a punchable face, and he can be such an arsehole when he wants to oh, be in films. Let, let, let's put that one out. Both of the picks there have punchable, punchable faces. faces. Oh, yeah, punchable yeah. Face. <laughs> Absolutely. But this isn't a punching contest, lads, I'm afraid. And uh, I like Matt Smith as an actor, but I can't see him in this role. Um, I this, like this is uh, where Sh I said, yeah, uh, the similarities. Sh Sherlock, Sherlock would Sherlock would be all over Matt Smith in that. In Shanahan, that I, I don't I don't know anything really about Smith, so I can't even argue. Yeah, what Sherlock I've seen him in, what I've seen him in, right, and uh, what I what I remember of Shanahan, like he has that little bit of bite to him. Uh, Matt Smith is a little bit more kind of a, a little bit more sneakier. I know that. You could imagine him a bit more sneakier, you know? Um, yeah, he can be sneaky, even, even but for... he can be a straight-up dick when he needs to be mm. as well. But like I said, again, they're both good shouts, you know? Uh, but yeah, my preference there would be Shanahan, you know? But there you go. That's that one. That's two to one to the champ. Oh, yucca. Yeah. Yeah, yeah two to one to Greg. Yeah. Right, moving up, we're going to, to Papas. Gary Busey. Let's see how this man must have been cast in every movie ever made around the 80s and 90s. I think I so. As the kind of uh, unstable guy. Yeah. <laughs> do, you know, do, you know what, do you know what Gary Busey was around that time? He was the Mark Wahlberg <laughs> at that time. Better actor, though. <clears throat> probably, yeah. Not probably. I think he's a way better actor. I think he has way more range than Wahlberg does. Uh, Wahlberg. Oh, Wahlberg. Wahlberg's decent. To be he's fair to him, he's decent. But Wahlberg is very. This is Mark Wahlberg. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. He get he gets lumped with that a lot. Now he's a he's a good actor when he's not doing him that. Mm. Yeah, but, but I think they're the kind of roles he gets now. Yeah, 
Um, yeah, so the oldest character in here, as I said, he kind of talks talks down to both uh, Harp and uh, Utah, Utah at the one point or another during the film. Um, he has to be a little bit, you know, not unstable, but, you know, kind of he's given up a bit until he meets Johnny Utah. Oh. And then when he's back in it, he's back in it. You know, he's still, he's still got that action adrenaline in him. How how good was that scene? You now when he if he comes when Utah is there fighting with War Child and stuff, he comes running over and he's like, "Can you see the kid with stereo?" Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's he's very very quick on his feet, sort of thing. Um, I had two backups for this. One of them was John Bernthal, but I think he's just the wrong type of. Uh, yeah, he's a very gruff. Yeah, he's too wrong gruff. type of angry. Yeah, he's just he's too gruff for this this role. Um, the other one was Matthew McConaughey, who I think could do this. Yeah relatively well um, yeah, because he's got the act- he's got the acting ability but yeah he's just a bit too smooth you know too you, silky you, smooth, yeah man. you're just looking at him you're like life hasn't been that bad to him <laughs> you know what i mean all right, um, all right. <laughs> so I, I went with somebody who is making uh, like they've been in a lot of big films um but very rarely the the main name in a film i went with jeremy renner who you could see is that kind of old beaten down cop yeah. Um. But still, when the action starts flowing, he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm all over this, lads." He's good to go. <laughs> uh, I mentioned one of my backups in that point that I was making that it, it he was the Mark Wahlberg of the time. Mark Wahlberg was one of the first names that I put down. Just Dude. couldn't buy in. I think he takes away from the other characters too much. And mm-hmm. um, like you could see Wahlberg doing that running scene where he's like. Maybe you see that kid change with my stereo. Yeah. Um. So I didn't go with that. Um. And then my main pick, I went with Josh Brolin. I like Josh. He goes in. He plays those kind of quick talking things as well. We've seen him as Cable, obviously being a bad guy in that. Um. And, and, and numerous other things. Yeah. Uh, I think he fits in as the 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 art. The argumentative arsehole that then kind of falls to now, help. I think the in, main. Sorry again, cutting in you. Sorry about that, but I think there's a, a tinge of comedy about Gary Busey's performance. There's a tinge there of humour, right? Yeah. So I think out of those two, uh, Josh Brolin is too serious in a good way. You know, he's too uh, much of a bad boy. Yeah. Whereas, you know, you're looking at Gary Busey and anything, he's the same character and everything. You're like, oh, yeah, there he is. Like, you know, you can see out of those two picks, you can see that happening more with Renner. Yeah. The whole you surfer know? boy thing, when, they're up yeah. on the, when he's up on the table, he's like, yeah. Yeah. So I think out of those two, I'm going to go with Jeremy Renner on that one. Fair enough. So what are we at now? Three, one, three, two, two, all. two, two all. Sorry. I'm getting mixed up myself. <laughs> I'm a great judge. <laughs> uh, right, we've three more. So uh, <clears throat> the the female lead, who is Tyler, played by Laurie Petty. Yeah, who went not on to obviously be, went on. Uh, she would have been acting wise. She would have been semi decent off the back of other movies, and then went on to do Kill Free Willy and stuff. Um, but wouldn't be. I would have said she Wouldn't was bigger after this. I would have said she was bigger after this than mm. before. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, probably. She got she got bigger, but like it's a big part as well. Like you yeah. forget, like, you know, we normally see that kind of name. You're like, oh yeah, because I was watching. I was like, oh, she won from Free Willy. Yeah, I was like, she obviously got Free Willy, and Free Willy came after this. I was like, oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Great. She kind of went on to stuff after this rather than before. So, and she looks like a cunt, yeah. acts like a cunt. So she must be one. The name that I had was Kristen Stewart, but Carl King hates Kristen Stewart. And so I changed it. So I went with Samara Weaving. I literally changed it. I, I, I was like, I'm not putting it in because he's already stated how much he hates Kristen Stewart. Um, and then I looked around. Abigail Breslin was another name that popped up, Dakota Fanning. I said, like, Joe, you know I'm just gonna put in. I kind of gotta go safe-ish here and go somewhere even. And 
by the look on Ted's face, I have an imagination on where his pick has gone. I yeah, I I went Kirsten Stewart. It took me a long time to settle on her, and even though I know King isn't a huge fan of her, when I was thinking of this, I was like, who fits into that kind of punk rocker, um, surfer chick? who fits into that role and I was like there's not a lot of actresses that I see fitting into that and I was like Kristen Stewart is one that I see fitting into yeah. that Kristen Stewart yeah. the only name I had and then when the change like I know the change happened earlier in the day but I had somewhat of a list wrote down I was like well can't use that yeah the, the only other person the other person I had as my backup was uh, Joey King but I think she doesn't really fit the look either and she's I don't know who that is She's starting to make her name now. She's start, but she's still a little bit too young for the role. Probably, I think she's only like twenty three or something. The one, I, the one I'd say then is, was Kristen Stewart too big of a name? Not for that particular role. I think I mean, a few years ago, I wouldn't, maybe. I wouldn't have said so. I'm just looking to argue the point here. Because yeah, I, think, I know you I, don't like Kristen Stewart. Is the reason I changed away from it. Yeah, I think a few years ago she maybe would have been too big. Um, but she hasn't really. She kind of stepped away a little bit in terms of like she's still acting. But she's kind of stepped away from those. She had that mental health problem or whatever, didn't she? Where she yeah. kind of was a lesbian, wasn't a lesbian, uh, was in yeah. the public fucking killing paparazzi and stuff. <laughs> yeah, she yeah she wasn't happy with the way she was being treated. But I don't, I, I, I don't blame her either. No, neither do I. But I, I just think she fits that kind of surfer chick <clears> look <throat> that they would have needed yeah. for this. Mm. Uh, well, yeah, I don't like Kirsten Stewart. But, Greg, I'm going to say, if you had a kept her, you would have shared the points there. Well, I would have shared the point anyway, because there wouldn't have been an option for you to pick one. Yeah, and yeah. you know what I mean, though, but you would have saved yourself a point there, because as much as I don't like her, I think she would fit that role. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I wouldn't mind. I knew, I knew she was the right person for it. Yeah. yeah. I just played it off a little bit. Yeah. On the judge. Of course, yeah. Well, no. Like if, if it still if it still had been Sherlock, I'd have left it. No ends yeah. up. Mm. Well, I, no, actually, like, I, yeah. I quite like her as an actress, to be honest. A lot of it, like the big thing that she was in was obviously Twilight, and you know she gets a lot of flack for that. But I look yeah, at some of the other. She's not white as well, isn't she? No, and, that's uh... I mean. I I've seen like some of the other stuff that she's done has been quite good. Um, so I think you know very similar to wasn't, um wasn't Pattinson. much good. The Charlie's Angel was, but she was in that. It was she was decent in that. Yeah, but you know, I think similar to Pattinson, I think they both took a role that they knew would make them a big name, and they've since oh, managed new. to step away from that and rebuild their names. Absolutely. Yeah. So there we go. That's that's three two to, to the number one contender. Yeah. Oh, right, great! You're gonna have to pull this out of your hole now. Now, the one thing I will say here is: Do you go Brody last here? No, Johnny Utah's oh, the hero. Oh, Johnny Utah, film. yeah. I would have said Swayze's bigger in this than. No, well, he's he's the Lee. more interesting character. He's the more think... interesting, but the the Utah hero of the story the is Johnny Utah. Yeah, yeah. So the judge is going to decide. We're going to go with we're going to go with Bodie. Just you know, older so... than I thought. Yeah. Thirty nine. Swayze. Yeah. Didn't think he was thirty nine doing this. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I only had two names for this, really. I had one for quite a long time uh, in Sebastian Stan, who I think could play the role quite well. He's quite a, um, you know, charismatic guy. And that's basically what he does. He's so charismatic that he gets people to follow him and stuff. But um, I just, I don't know. I just don't see him as the, the surfer dude in that sense. Um, maybe that's just from other things I've seen him in, I've just stopped thinking of him in that way. Um, so I went with someone who looks a little bit similar and then obviously, as Greg said earlier, you want them to look kind of, you know, the whole Gromit being his younger brother thing. Uh, I went with someone who's a relatively big name, but possibly has a bigger name because of family than what he's done himself at the moment. Uh, Wyatt Russell, who I think looks that sort of, you know, the shaggy uh, surfer dude, like uh, he's charismatic, people like him, but he's also a bit of a dick. Like, mm -hmm. Greg, that's fair. It's fair. White Russell was my backup. 
That's true. Obviously, going off, going off Gromit, being his younger brother, who I actually cast as younger brother, I went to Chris Hemsworth here. <laughs> He's absolutely a, an all-round surfer action junkie, is what I he am. is in real life. And he was a feckin' surfer in Home and Away. Not that that makes a difference. Well, yeah. yeah. He's also uh, jacked as all, fuck, yeah. though. <laughs> well, like, you, you think... You, all right, he is jacked as fuck, right? <laughs> but if you look, you at, if you look at if you look at Swayze in this, they never refer to it. When you go in and freeze frame the images, he's fucking huge in this. Yeah, he is jacked. He's, he's big, but I don't... I think he's like... And again, there's nothing to say that they have to be a certain size, like... No, but I think he's like maybe Chris Pratt big, whereas Chris Hemsworth is like. Huge. Yeah, man, did you ever try to carry a surfboard either? They're not fucking light. They're no. not, but you also have to be kind of, no. you know, nimble I... and stuff. You have to be that athletic build, sort of on a on a surfboard as well. You can't be fucking. Well, Chris, you can't use that because Chris uh, Chris Hemsworth surfs every day and he surfs with world champions, so that no, doesn't not... work. <laughs> yeah, but it's not it's not and Chris he's a Hemsworth. good surfer as well yeah but it's not Chris Hemsworth it's you know it's he's playing a role like you don't actually see yeah, them but, you're talking, you're, but that yeah, prepares him for the role though it does but I'm saying you know surfers are u- usually a slighter build especially one that's planning on taking on the world's biggest uh, fucking uh, well, he, title he wave. doesn't plan he doesn't plan on taking that on he knows exactly where that's going no he uh-huh. plans on it and then he gets to do it but that that's his plan from very early on. Like, no, I that was the one name that I had. Once I remembered that it was surfing an action junkie, I was like, yeah, <clears throat> all right, Hemsworth, easy choice. And then that's where I got Liam Hemsworth from from the other one. I was like, you know what? I'll try it. I'll try it. <laughs> all right, Ted. Excuse me, Ted. Yeah, Ted picked already. I went Wyatt Russell. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, um, I think Chris Hemsworth would actually be perfect in this role. I do. I think he's just too, too big. Well, at the time, Swayze was a big deal as well. No, no, I you mean know? physically. Oh, right, right. Too big. I think he is physically just oh, way too big. But it's like, it's like you know, it, like we, this hasn't been cast before in this universe, we'll say. Yeah. So, he, I, mean, I mean, if he is, you know, if he is surfing every day, you know, in, in real life, he could he could very well play the part. You know, um, he could, but I, I, just... I only I only I only know that he surfs every day because I watched that uh, new shark documentary done. <laughs> yeah, possibly. I don't know. I just think he's way too way too big. Like I think he's physically just so so big. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, if if we were talking about casting someone who's skinny, whereas you know Swayze is uh, you know he's well built in it. Yeah, know? but do you see Johnny Utah? Grabbing Chris Hemsworth by the neck and pinning him to a van. I I see very few people being able to pin Chris Hemsworth to any van in the world. Well, he's sitting down, size. so there's going to be no real thing for him to move off. No, well, they're both sitting down, but like, yeah, uh, yeah but he tell, if you Keanu Reeves gets up over him, there's not a lot you can do. Oh, he's under him because he's pushing his elbow, he's pushing his arm under his throat, but. I'm just saying, you try that with Chris Hemsworth, he's going to kick the... He's just going to fucking throw you out the door. Like, no bother to him. Well, sure. I mean, there's nothing to say that the smaller guy can't kick the other... The big guy's ass, you know? No, in a, like, in a full fight, maybe, but I don't think you're pinning him there and holding him there either. Do you know what I mean? It depends, that's, on that's... Who, depends on who you cast as Johnny Utah. Yeah, but I mean, Johnny Utah's not going to be fucking bigger than Chris Hemsworth, is he? Not many people out there bigger than Chris I Hemsworth. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say Keanu Reeves was bigger than Swayze in this. No, but Swayze's not huge either. Is my point that that's my point. Like you, you have to be believable that this person can pin uh, him to the side of the truck. Like, yeah. Um, Roy, you have actually both given me a. A dilemma there because and I was thinking to myself, and I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, but I was looking at the other actors that you have picked for the, the main role with the you know with, with, with Ted's uh, argument there about would this guy be able to take down Chris Hemsworth? Like, you know what I mean? So um I'm kinda yeah. I'm actually gonna go with your man Wes Russell. Yes. Looking at him there again, 
And so why Russell's not small either, lads? No, he's but he's significantly not, smaller than Chris he's Hemsworth. Hemsworth. You know, I don't I know. Mean, he's he's you, well up there. You so I mean, in fairness, like I was all for Chris Hemsworth until I heard the. the and then the you also have to take into account on who's going to be cast as. Uh, well, either who's of going the, to be cast as. All I'll say is the two lads he's picked for, for uh, him, wouldn't be taken down Hemsworth. That's all uh, I'd say. I'd say mine. Mine could be well up there. I don't think so. But sure, look, uh, I'm going with Ted on that one. And you've you've you changed my mind on that one, Ted. Oh, I've cinched it. Yeah, I think it's happened. I think that's it. That puts an end to yeah. you, Greg. It does one, two, three, four, four, two. We will just throw the last one out anyway. You have to do the last one, yeah. <clears throat> um. So yeah, we're going with Johnny Utah. I went with Miles Teller. I went bigger because Hemsworth was bigger. Right, okay. Yeah, I uh, went with, um, you know, he's the young upshot rookie. Um, no, so you I, definitely didn't cast Tom Holland in this, did you? I <laughs> fucking 100% did. That is exactly oh, who's getting cast. Sake. That's exactly he's 100% not getting cast. Yes, he is. You're talking you said, it, you said it yourself that uh, when we were on another show, Tom Holland doesn't kill people. He doesn't kill anyone. You said it yourself. Who does he kill? He's still he's supposed to be an FBI agent. You're telling me he's not going to try and kill someone? Who did he kill? Absolutely not. Who did he kill? Does he not shoot? Ting. Um, he shoots one of them. Who's one? I can't remember which one he kills. But Tom Holland does not get that part. Absolutely does not. Definitely does. You're talking okay. the young pretty boy surfer. It's Tom Holland. Tom Holland is not a pretty boy surfer neither. Put a bit of long and hair I, on him. I'll, I'll, even, I'll even argue the point then. Tom Holland is not a starting college quarterback. Not a chance. Possibly not, but I don't think Keanu Reeves would be either. <laughs> Keanu Reeves he, he, more he like looks, along he looks more like a certain quarterback than Holland would. <laughs> and Holland, Holland wouldn't be able to pin down White Russell neither. No. No, but so, uh, I don't think either of them you, are pinning down Chris Hemsworth either. Uh, Miles Teller is certainly jacked enough to do it. Yeah, yeah, but he's also not young. He's not he's super young. Four, he's 35. He's four years old. He's, oh, sorry, yeah, he's 35. But even then, Tom Holland's not getting out of Quantico at 22. Um, well, that's why Johnny Utah is meant to be in this. He's meant he to be. Say anything. He's, tw he's 27 he's, when he filmed it. He's 27, he films it, but they reference the fact that he's in his early 20s in the film. Like, Yeah, and Miles Teller could get away with being in his 20s. There's no mm -hmm. chance Tom Holland gets cast here. I think, he, I think he would. I think that's exactly who they'd go with here. Well, let me just interject here. Not that, It doesn't make a difference, I know, but what I will say is I, I, think, I think Holland would be mis, miscast there. And and going on the fact that he, I I think he was miscast in, uh, what you call it, uh, Uncharted as well. I didn't, I didn't think he was actually that bad. I thought he was I thought he was miscast, but he wasn't bad in it. No, he's not bad, but I think he was miscast. You know, so I think but the it's whole just thing a, was miscast. Yeah, but I just think he's flavor of the month or the year or whatever at the minute. So uh, I'd probably go with Miles Teller on that one. Miles Teller, Miles. Yeah, am I right? Tom yeah. Holland. No, he's your one, Greg. Miles Teller. Yeah. yeah, Miles Teller. That's who we'd go on that one. Uh, because I just can't see... I can't see Tom Holland past Spider-Man and Peter Parker. And I know that's kind of short mind. And I did pick him in a couple of things already. But it has to be Roy for... You know, for me to be able to pick him, it has to be Roy. You know, and I personally don't see him in that one. I don't know. I, I went with the way they'd look, look the Hollywood would look at that. They'd go, We need a young guy come in here to be the young hotshot FBI agent. And they'd go, Tom Holland. No, they would. Don't see it. Whether 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 he'd be the right cast or not, that's yeah. exactly what Hollywood would do. They'd go, Fucking Tom Holland is a big, big name. Get him in here right now. Yeah. So they could have they could have done that when they were doing Top Gun. Do you know what I mean? But they won't. He's not the right cast. At, at mm. all, at all. There has to be a sense of believability there with the character, and I just don't believe him as a 
as a Johnny Utah type. Knowing what we do, I know we're not meant to know what we know now, obviously, about yeah. the film, but I don't know. I wouldn't have said, like, when you think about what uh, Keanu Reeves had done previously to this, you wouldn't have thought of him as a Johnny Utah type either, really. He, he wasn't, like, he, as well as Bill that, and though, Ted and whatnot, you know. As well as that, though, Ted, he was like, yeah, he wasn't as big a star as Tom Holland is now. He's big, but not half as big as Tom Holland is now. No, but that's what I mean. Like, so they, but, but then again, he was Miles Teller's big and he was then as well. So, exactly. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? True, yeah. But Tom Holland is not the right pick at all. Whatever about me losing, but Tom Holland was definitely not the right pick. Mm. I'd agree with you on that, Greg. You got that point. So it's 4 3. I didn't think it was going to happen. I said and I don't think Greg thought it was going to happen. No, nah, you didn't. You didn't want it. You didn't think I literally, it was I literally said it at the start of the show. I know you did, but you didn't really, really think it was going to happen. No, I generally thought I might I might lose this one. Because there was, the... there, was, there was two or three characters that could go anywhere. Yeah, I think the first normally two going just... in, Normally going into a list, I'll have three or four that I'm like, should pick up points for that. Yeah. Well, Again, I have... changing, away from, changing away from Kristen Stewart was... Yeah, I. Yeah. That that was the that was the the real cinch. I think. I think you were. I think you were shocked at that, Ted. Were you? No, I I I wasn't really because I I think she's the only person that really fits that role. To be honest. Yeah. Well, I uh, was considering a couple of weeks ago. You said anybody that ever cast Christian Stewart's never getting a point. Did I say that? Yeah. Well, it no, makes a couple of weeks ago. No, that wasn't Kristen Stewart. He said that about. No, it was, it was Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. He hates Jennifer Lawrence. Oh. Jennifer Lawrence. But anyway, in this case, Kirsten Stewart, I still don't like her, but she does fit the part, you know? Yeah, I know. Well, like I just said, that was the first name I had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Well, so there we go. We have a new champion on the, on the block. Big Greg, you're going to have to, you're going to have to do it all over again, man. What the fuck? Well, no one's getting, no one's getting near my record anyway. I don't know. So, remember when, remember when four was a decent record? Yeah. That looked untouchable. <laughs> It didn't look untouchable. It was just the one that we had at the time. <laughs> Try nine. Yeah. Well, what are you um, what are you giving us then? Do you know what? I had a couple of movies wrote down and they've been on the back of the book for a while now. Um, it's a movie I called my favourite movie for a long, long time until I sat down and watched that and Carlito's Way back to back. And I realised that I actually think I might like Carlito's Way more. But I'm going to give you is the De Niro and Pacino classic Heat. Okay, it's always a long, yeah, we're old, always a big long film with you, Greg, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks for your book, huh? Yeah, he really yeah. likes those those long ones there. There, I, I go for the old classics. <laughs> so yeah. who's who's who up against Ted? And so uh, you two and Carl Sherlock will be the judge, providing he's better from his man flu. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so Greg has a week off for the first time in a long old time. <laughs> a well yeah. deserved, I must say. A great champion he was. A great champion. A fighting champion, but still not the champion right now. Give yeah. me two weeks and I'll be back. Three we'll months. see. We'll see. But uh, until next week, uh, don't forget to like, share, follow, all that good stuff. And for the same for the boys over on the slab. It's obviously. Halloween month here, so horror is their baby, and they are pumping out the content now. Usually it's one show a week. Mm -hmm. At the moment, it's up to two and potentially moving up from there, depending on how much they can get recorded at a time. Yeah. So don't forget to hop over there and like and share on that as well. Uh, and until next week, good luck. Ow!